Okay, so here's a, here's what I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you what we did. All right. So this is what we got. Okay, this is our tier list. Top tier, cream of the crop. Actually, let's just start from the bottom. So we've got biased. Obviously, biased is stuff that like it's a Zelda. Zelda can't get number one. That's it. That's that's it. It cannot get number one because it's Zelda and I'm biased to it. It's not fair. So if you request the Zelda game, you're just requesting me to have a good time. Unless it's Skyward Sword, in which case, I'm not gonna have a good time. Next tier. Forgot I played it. Going through the games that I beat in Deadlist, there are legitimate games in here I forgot I even played. So that should stand for itself. If I forgot I played it, it does not win. Uh, next tier is Skate Tier or Cooped It. Uh, they're basically the same thing, but we just need to drive the point home that Skate has a terrible record with picking games that I like. He has some good ones. There's some good ones on here that'll get higher up on the list. But if we cooped it, or more often than not, if Skate requested it, it's gonna belong in this tier. <laughs> the next tier, they just stopped trying. It was a game that I managed to beat, but towards the end, I was fucking kicking and screaming and bitching the entire time. So something like Silent Hill 4 The Room will probably go in that. Because we beat it, but we hated it the entire time doing it. Um, When did you stream RE3? That was a long time ago, Jackson. That was like beginning of the year. Coops actually added that one. Then the next one is just a game. Nothing fancy. We played it, we beat it, we moved on. It's just a game. But not bad, not good, just a game. The next tier that we've got is a surprising full chub. Something that I played that I did not think I was gonna like and I really fucking walked away liking it and I may play it again. And then the final tier. Favorite make me so horny. Uh, these are the games that became some of my favorite things to play, and I definitely will replay them. And, uh, yeah. Something, just the cream of the crop. Anything that makes it up here is in the running for, like, the be the title of best game I played. That was requested, I guess. I don't know. I guess I should just say best game I played on stream. Because there's some good ones on here. Oh, horny. I also had to do a zero for the O because they did not let me use the word horny. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, we have a lot to get through. What do you think? Do you think that covers enough bases for tiers? I think it does. I think that covers a good amount. I think it wouldn't be enough if I dropped off these bottom two. I don't think that's enough, but I think this is good. I think this is pretty solid. So. They're not in any particular order. I even shuffled some of them. You played Outer World? I did. I did. That one's actually a twofer because that's when I cooped and I forgot I played it. So that one's a twofer. I remember when I played it, but when I was going through, I was like, what did I play? I play other oh, fuck, I did. I played it for like two days. I was sick while I played it. It compounded on it. I hated it. All right. So. Let's kick off this tier list, shall we? Huh, okay, we'll start with 50 Cent, Blood in the Sand. If anyone has not played this, when I played through this, it, it's it's pros. Uh, it was a really fun, like, the gameplay loop was really fun, and its biggest pro, it was short. This was a redemption from Justice. Uh, we had to set up a PS3 emulator to play it. It was a pain in the ass, but when we got the game working, it was actually really fun. Um, and it was really short. I don't know if I would ever play it again, but I do think that it does warrant a surprising full chub. It's not high up in full chub, but it was actually pretty fun. Uh, it was only three hours. It was perfect. And for that, like the music was pretty good when I could get it to work. The sound was bugged because of the emulator, but it was pretty good. If it had been like five hours, it probably would be just a game because it would have overstayed its welcome. But Surprising Full Chub, I think, is good. It's not going to be high up in Surprising Full Chub, but that's where it goes. Uh, I forgot Blood on the Sand is the second game. Is it really? I don't know what they are. It was fun. That's all I know. PS emulators are so ass. It's crazy. Dude, like, PS1 is fine that I've noticed, but PS2 is 
terrible and ps3 is even worse it's just not a good time should we make this a little bigger we should make this a little bigger yeah perfect all right so now we're on to luke's request uh i don't even remember the full name of it it's like the amazing crash test dummies or the incredible crash test dummies we played the nes version of it it's fun it's just a game though we got through it in like two hours it was janky it's an nes game it's hard it's kind of bs but we weren't really frustrated with it we just got through it that's it that's an easy just a game apparently ps3 emulators have gotten a lot better now well when i did blood on the sand it was like five months ago i think so if that's the case within the last like five months that's solid but if it is longer than that no i can say it did not get better it was such a pain in the ass psx2 least favorite emulator yeah it's like the only thing you got too which sucks it's terrible i hate it you're back oh no problem but to say all right so now we got banjo kazooie dkc requested this i there's gonna be some i'm not gonna remember who requests uh so honestly it's a it's a it's a toss-up it's a toss-up between just a game and they just stop trying because towards the end this game was definitely wearing thin on me uh i think i was here for blood on the sand wasn't it like two months ago it might have been that i don't i'm really bad with time maybe it was two months ago it was a while ago but yeah it could have been i'm trying to remember dude but fuckers are salty so i don't really know where to put it so the cons for it you had to collect like 98 percent of the collectibles to be able to actually get to the last level not even like a secret level to get to the last level and it was really frustrating i thought i would have liked it more you know what i'm gonna put they just stopped trying i'm gonna put it there right now i might change my mind and put it in just a game but right now it's in they just stopped trying i just remember walking away from that being very poopy about it so far i only see an s tier or a tier game on the list that i played <laughs> well there's a lot of stuff on there you'll be surprised dkc uh would find it funnier under stopped trying <laughs> <laughs> he would because he he's the one that redeemed it uh all right this is easy the the simpsons bart mutant alien whatever that's that skate tier cooped it we played the first level didn't even beat it shut that shit off that was garbage luke knew what he was doing when he requested that he knew he had a rough childhood he played these games he knew what he did uh the darkness is a game i mean i love the darkness but you played it on hard i did i did uh we're gonna move hold on we're gonna move a little bit differently i don't want to keep going one by one because i think it's well we just keep doing a bunch of the nes ones and most of those are loot we'll skip it we did get requested to play bloodborne i mean bloodborne technically should go in bias but i mean we'll put surprising full chub even though you know of course it, it's a great game it's not gonna go up here because it can't win i don't even remember who requested bloodborne i don't legitimately remember who requested bloodborne but that was fun we got through it it was like our fourth time playing it so there's not much we can say on it uh all right we'll just do this okay so this was double dragons versus battle toads i remember this game sucked but we did beat it it is a just stop trying. You definitely would like the darkness if you played it uh, on normal. Well, I mean, it's possible. I don't think we'll ever play it again, but it could have happened. Yeah, this one's kind of easy. I just, this game was a nightmare. It was not fun. We had to save scum to get through it, but we beat it. They just stopped trying. Uh, Boyfriend Dungeon. So that was very early this year. I think think that was joey i miss joey i think boyfriend dungeon was joey that was really really fun it's not something i think i like want to go back to unless there's new dlc but it was a lot of fun and we got to do funny voices in it so it's a surprising full chub it's high it's higher than 50 cent on full chub i miss joey too joey's a cool guy 
I mean, I know he's still fucking doing his thing and he pops in from time to time, but man, I miss Joey. We forced boyfriend dungeon on you. Was that, was that you and Joey? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I really liked that one. That one was really, really fun. It was just a good dungeon crawler. Um, the characters were goofy, but it was short. I think we beat it in like one and a half streams. Boyfriend dungeon? Yeah, so it was really cool. Um, it was like a dungeon crawler, but then like a pseudo like social romance game where the weapons that you had were your boyfriends and it was weird. They had different stats, attributes, gameplays. They were fun. Really cool art style, just really short. Uh, Chasm was Sound Ninja's uh, redemption. It was fun. It was just a Metroidvania that we played and got through. Dungeon crawler dating sim. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a much better way of putting it. I thought it was a dating sim. So no, it's actually a dungeon crawler. Here, hold on. We can do, uh, hold on. Dude, yeah, if you want to know, because you can use this as a way to see if you want to play some of these games. If you want to see what they are, just ask. I'll pop up like a trailer. I just want a trailer, not like a review. This shit was actually really fun. So like, you would meet all these different weapons and yeah, you could date your weapons. But then yeah, it's like a dungeon crawler. Really good music. When you could upgrade your shit, it was really strong. And dating shit, dude, it was super fun. Well, hello, you two. Oh, I remember Thunder. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Yeah, the, the swords will just talk when they're in their sword form. <laughs> Careful, don't tickle my hilt. Oh my god, don't tickle the hilt. Ooh, she was OP. Well, hello. Dude, the dagger Hi. was OP. Yo. The lightsaber was sick. Yeah, you could date a cat. Hi. You could date a cat. Yo. This game looks dumb. You look dumb. This game was really fun. Oh, wait, can you actually play as him now? Ooh, can you actually use him as a weapon? Dang. You couldn't before. Dude, that was fun. Uh, I would be incapable of playing this. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I never thought I could play a dating sim, but it made it fun. It wasn't like too over the top or anything like that. I met in a good way. Dude, it was fun. I don't like, it was just a lot of fun. Different like way you could spec out the weapons and run through dungeons and shit. It was just short. That was as big as like, Drawback. It was just short. Dream Scraper is kind of like that. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me write that down because I don't know what that is. And if it's like Boyfriend Dungeon, I'm down for it. Dating Sim with a good game. Okay, hold on. Burp. It is and it isn't. That's cool. I'll look at I mean, it's got good reviews, so I'll look it up anyways. A lot of out of game shit, though. I'll look at it. It sounds interesting. I mean, at least from what I can see up here, too. It's got good scores. The art style looks really cool. Hell yeah. Dude, we're getting ideas for this year already. We're getting ideas for this year. Uh, What's the next one? We got Jericho. Okay. Jericho is literally going to be in the middle of just a game whenever we're done with this tier list. Because Jericho is the most average game I've ever played. I have never played a game that was like... Literally, it could be in any movie as like a, you know, a, a royalty free property. Just when you want someone playing a video game in the background. It was just so generic. It's below average. See, I disagree. I don't think it was a bad game, but it wasn't a good one. It was literally right in the middle. It was just boring, but passable. Like it wasn't like Fear 2. Oh, Fear 2, like some parts didn't even function right. At least the game worked from beginning to end. I didn't have any bugs. It was just a shooter. You went, you did shit. That was it. To me, that's like, you can't get any more average than that. Fear 2 was trash. Or, <laughs> dude, it was. Fear 2 was super garbage. Really garbage. All right. So we do have, uh... Oh, no, I'm looking at what's coming up. Okay. So we do actually have a early uh, 
favorite make me so horny in croc 2. it's not gonna be tippity top i don't i don't know if it can be tip no i'll have to think about this one but croc was super fun uh i don't usually like platformers but this one was very like cute it was fun uh it was short in and out we didn't collect everything you didn't need to collect everything like banjo kazooie could take a fucking lesson from that game that was a lot of fun i probably will return to this game or at least this series to see more of it i really liked croc uh i liked watching you play fear one missed a lot of fear two because of sleeps fear one was fun like it got a little stale towards the end but the thing that kind of made it better for me was at least its visual style was unique it was interesting and it like i did want to keep playing it fear two man i was just racing for the finish line that shit was so boring and just it lost all character from the first one so now we've got another one I, this one might be cheating i'm not sure i don't remember if this one got added or not but i think if it did i think it was clover that added it and that was cry of fear dude if this was a tier list for the scariest things i've played on stream this is a hundred percent the thing that made me jump squeal whine the most i enjoyed it and towards the end it fucking was a little long but it wasn't enough to keep it out of surprising full chub it's not better than boyfriend dungeon actually it might not even be better than 50 cent but i still really liked it but holy shit did this scare the actual shit out of me i have never been in more suspense going around corners in a game in a very long time Do you, I, I, uh, uh. the fact that it was free was cool it was really fun Holy fuck, the game glitches and I finally beat him. Did you beat him? Oh my god. Congratulations, but Tosai. Yeah, you take those. I guess her th that gave her the idea to add it here. It was really good. Yeah, like, uh, if, uh, she should she should play it. I don't know how far she'd get, but she should play it. Cry of Fear was really, really fun. The story is really interesting, too. I had to do a little bit of research on it, but it was it was interesting. I liked it. So now we got Destroy All Humans. That's pretty solid, just a game. We weren't too mad about playing it. Skate redeemed it, so there you go. We finally have one where Skate, actually, this is, the first, this is the first Skate Redemption, so that's good. That starts off really strong, that he gets just a game on it. Um, She got to the first puzzle, the PC password. <laughs> Did she just call it quits <laughs> right then? Could she not do it, or did the scares make her call it quits? Dude, yeah, Destroy All Humans was fun. Again, I felt like it took a little long, but... Didn't Skate also redeem Jericho? No, Jericho was DKC. Jericho was DKC. DKC, so the people who probably added the most things out of here are probably Luke, Skate, and DKC. They probably hold, like, 50% of the redeems. Will I be doing her a disservice? She may have gotten into the apartment block. Well, we'll have to ask her the next time she's here. I'll just be like, hey, Clover, Cass says you a bitch. You would get very far and cry fear. Just like that. I'm sure she'll enjoy that. Dude, it was fun. I used to like Destroy All Humans, but till a few years ago, when I started playing it again, discovered missions, reused too many areas, and got too repetitive. It was kind of repetitive. Croc on the leaderboard. Croc is on the leaderboard. Croc was a lot of fun. Was fu fun watching you shit your pants. Dude, that game scared me. So we got like probably like 10 clips from that like game alone of me just freaking out because that game was so fucking jump scary. Ugh. I remember watching my cousin play Destroy All Humans as a kid. It's all right. I mean, it's funny. It's a really funny game, but like a little repetitive. Like what Jackson said, it was a little repetitive, but uh what do we got now now we got peeking your mic every time yeah, everybody ah! just fucking freak out <laughs> i would just get quiet oh my god that was fun we might want to replay that game or like do the multiplayer on it even though i heard it's really hard to set up so now we got the darkness so the darkness is either a really low just a game or a really high they just stopped trying 
it's not the game's fault entirely because I played it on hard mode, but this is a tier list of my experience, and my experience of this was they just stopped trying. <laughs> that was my experience. It's high, they just stopped trying. We beat it. We did not enjoy a majority of this game. The co-op is very easy to set up, or is easy to set up, very unstable if playing with people overseas. Oh, uh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what I heard then. Cause yeah, I watched like a review of it or like when I was trying to figure out more of what was going on in it, uh, they were like trying to do the co-op and they said it was a bitch to set up, but that's probably why. Cause it was people overseas. Dude, this is gonna fucking put me to sleep. The Jigglypuff song. No? Sure. Uh, it crashes a lot too. It's way harder on hard. Uh, well, we learned with PS3 games, don't do hard difficulty. Just do normal. Was the game with the funny clip where you were an enemy just follow? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> the darkness was when this happened. Hold on. This clip is so funny. Hold on. I gotta pull it up. Dude. <laughs> What was it? Like a foot, a football injury caught on tape? I think is what they said. Hold on. How do I get to this bit? Videos. Okay, hold on. We, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it was this one, dude. This was so fucking stupid. So we just go up to this guy in our little sneaky, slithery snake form. Dude, he just falls in the middle of for no reason. He's just like, huh? Okay. He goes down. Dude, that shit was so dumb. Uh, darkness is still hard on normal, but uh, a good hard, not like hard difficulty. Beat World at War on veteran, so darkness on hard is a baby game in comparison. <laughs> Dude, you're so stupid. Err. Uh, okay. Diddy Kong Racing. In all fairness, this should go down here. This should, because I knew going into it, I was already going to love this game. But it's gonna go up here and it's gonna go in front of crap i don't know if it can win because again i don't think that's fair but technically i never established these rules before <laughs> i'm kind of flying blind right now <laughs> uh so we're gonna diddy kong is gonna have the lead right now diddy kong racing was so much fun to play sig's pig running around his fucking timber and then What's the cock's name? I don't remember what the chicken's name is. It was just a blast. If you haven't played Diddy Kong Racing, you need to play it. Fuck World at War veteran. I didn't even get a unique trophy for it. I would have got some trophy to play on hard. Well, that looks like you should have done your research before you ventured off on that mission. Yeah, I think this was DKC's. Oh, Croc was Watson's redemption, by the way. D uh, Diddy Kong Racing was DKC's. And now we got... Oh, yeah, boy. I think this is Horror Daddy's first redemption on the board. Hercules. Wait a minute. It's not just Hercules. It's Hercules. Disney's Hercules action game or action battle game for the PS1. Hercules was a fucking surprising full chub. Hercules was a really good time. Dude, Hercules uh, only had like one part that was really, really frustrating, and I think it was the Medusa fight. But Hercules was a goddamn blast. Good pick, horror guy. That was fun. We got through it in like one stream. It was just an easy play it and get done. It was actually what we played right after Simpsons, like alien mutant space mutant thing. It was a lot of fun. That was a really good pick, horror guy. Oh, DKC daddy. DKC, look what's number one. Oh my god, look what's number one. Oh my god. 
And yeah, I think I think Hercules is a good spot, right behind Boyfriend Dungeon, but above 50 Cent. I think that's a good one. Her Hercules, that's right. You would pick up the house and he says Hercules. That was a really good one. Um, actually, should I do? Hold on, I'm gonna do something stupid. Hold on a sec. Maybe it would just be easier if I do like this. Oh, then you can't really see it though. Uh, we can do. Ah, what do? Why you do this? No, let's do it like that. Perfect. Uh, you finished the Evil De Dead game. I forgot you started that. Oh, we'll get to the Evil Dead game. Don't you worry. We'll get to it. The names of the tiers. Do you like those? Yep. Top tier. Favorite. Make me so horny. Surprising full chub. Just a game. Look what <laughs> DKC. As I, when I picked this game like to put in the tier list, I said, this is going to be in the middle of just a game because it is the most average game I have ever played. So it literally, no matter what else is in just a game, it's going to be directly in the middle. They just stopped trying or the games that I managed to beat, but uh, got horribly frustrated with. And then obviously skate tier cooped it. The thick minotaurs are seared into my mind from Hercules. Dude, they were so thick. Oh my God. Uh, hold on. Uh, derp. Uh, Jericho is the Mendoza line of video games. It is. It is just decisively average. So now we got Devil May Cry 5. I really did enjoy Devil May Cry 5, but I'll be honest. I think it's just a game. I think it's just a game. I don't think I really ever need to play it again, especially with the lack of stuff that they have after you beat the game. Like, to just play the game again as Virgil, and like, that's it. It was fun. I'm glad I played it, because like, I did really like it, but just a game. You think it's overrated? Well, no, I think it deserves all the accolades it get, but you have to remember, this is a tier list for me personally. So this is my experience with it. I enjoyed it, but I don't think I ever need to play it again. It was fun. I would play one and three again before I would play five again, I think. And most of it has to do with playing as Nero, right? Tim, was that his name? Nero was really boring to play as. V and Dante, wah. But uh, Nero was super not fun to me. Because I know a lot of people are reversed. They like Nero, but they don't like V. But I liked V. I like that whole controlling a puppet thing. I need to play the DMC games. You do, and you need to play the reboot. Fuck people that say the reboot's a bad game. It is a good game. It's just not a good Devil May Cry. But it is a fun game. Waits patiently for the Alien Isolation review. <laughs> Dude, we haven't gotten many Cooped It games yet. Let me look at this list. How many Cooped It? Okay. So that's a Cooped It. That's a Cooped It. Uh, that's a Cooped It. That's a definite Cooped It. Okay, we're getting to some. Please shit all over it. I'm gonna. DKC, don't you worry. I'm gonna. All right. So people who were here during this playthrough should not be surprised by this. Fucking easy. Easy top tier. Easy number one prize holder right now. Evil Dead Hail of the King was so much fucking fun to play. The first hour was really rough, but once I figured out how to play the game, it was funny. The puzzles were actually pretty, like, not easy, but they made sense, even though they, I don't know, it was weird. Uh, the enemies dropped enough materials when you fought them that it didn't feel like it was like a war of attrition. Um, play it. Honestly, if you like Resident Evil clones, but you just put in your head, it's gonna be janky and shitty. Dude, Evil Dead Hail to the King was super fun. I'm gonna probably play it every Halloween because that shit was so much fun. Waits for dead to rights. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, you're going to be waiting a while. <laughs> you're going to be waiting a while. I need to play the Silent Hill games. Only ever played Silent Hill 4. The worst of them, I've been told. Yes, it is absolutely the worst of them. 
I admittedly just came here for Superman 64. Man, this top tier list is going to be wild. No one is going to agree with it. Not a one person is going to agree with it. Favorite Evil Dead game is Regeneration on PS2. I think Justice was playing that. I think I watched him play some of it. It looked neat. Oh yeah, and Justice is the one who redeemed this. Justice is the one who redeemed this, and it was so fucking fun. That's why it's your list, you're right. I agree with Diddy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Dude, Diddy Kong was super fun. But the difference, the reason why Evil Dead, I think, is I'm going to rate a little higher is because I already knew going into this I was going to love this. <laughs> Dude, I thought this was going to be a turd. And it turned out like, favorite, make me so horny. I fucking love this game. Well, Lancer. It belongs in the cooped it for Final Fantasy Tactics. The thing that was upsetting with Final Fantasy Tactics, though, the game cooped me. All right. I didn't coop it. It cooped me. It fucking cheesed me. It put me in a place where I could not. I lost 20 hours of progress. It cooped me, bro. Not me. Not me. That makes it even better somehow. Skill issue. Okay. Okay. I'll remember that. Wrong one. Here we go. Uh, that makes it even better somehow. <laughs> Dude, it fucking cooped me. It sucks. If it would have just warned me. Like, I know it's weird. Like, when games are like, oh, you're hitting a point of no progression or no return. Do you want to do it? Actually, the game did do it at a certain part, didn't it? But it didn't do it then. Why? Just do it then. That's fair, to be honest. I always think in these, any first playthrough should go ahead of replayed games. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Just have the knowledge. Oh, okay, hold on. We're gonna go into Forgot I Played It. That's even worse than Cooped It. How about that? How about that? No, that's <laughs> not. No, it's a, it's a Cooped It. Although it is better than the Simpsons one. So right now it's top of the garbage pile. So now we've got God Hand. So God Hand frustrated us a lot, but we also came away from the game really enjoying it and we got Chihuahua races out of it. I think it's pretty low on surprising full chub. It's definitely more than just a game. It's something I would consider and go like to go back and play again. Um, so it, it brings it up above just a game. It was good. We got Chihuahua races out of it. The music was sick. The combat's pretty good, but it was frustrating. I can live with my favorite game being better than a Bart Simpson game. <laughs> Dude, like, this game was almost unplayable, Lancer. So, like, yeah, you should be happy, but it also was not a high hurdle for it to jump. This hurdle was actually in the ground. So... <laughs> oh, F&D. F&D, look what we got. We got Goemon. Okay. So Goemon kind of falls into the same scenario as, as God Hand. Um, I enjoyed playing it. Do I think I would ever go back and play it again? I think that's the biggest difference between these two. Between just a game, something we beat, and then Surprising Full Chub, a game that we beat, and like, enjoy, like I think that's the biggest differentiating factor. And I don't think I'd ever want to play it again. It was, it was fun. The parts that were really fun were cool. I liked the art style. The music was sick. The boss fights were fun. Um, but man, you could get lost in a 2D level. And I don't know how it did that, but I would get so turned around and have no idea where I was going. And we save scummed it. So it's, it's high on just a game. Although honestly, I don't know if it's higher than Devil May Cry or Chasm. I don't think it's higher than the... Well, it might be higher... Mm. Chasm, we really didn't get any frustration with. Yeah, I think this is probably... You know what, though, if that's the case? We did get frustrated with this game. We did not get frustrated with these three. It just... The more and more I keep looking at it, F&D, the more and more it keeps falling. Oh, my concho daddy. Just put it in skate tier and blow my brains out. No, 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 because we did enjoy playing it. We were not frustrated upon beating it. We still enjoyed it. 
So it's it's mid just a game tier. It's mid just a game tier. No, I'm kidding. It's it's that's where I think right now. Although to be fair, Jericho does need to be in the middle. So it did move down one. Not because, but this is the Mendoza line. It's average. It doesn't fall below it though. Ooh, that's hard. Because crash test dummies doesn't fall below it either. No, I think I'm okay with this. Because when I put these three games together, I would much rather play these two instead of playing Jericho. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm happy with where this is at right now. That was too mean. Jericho didn't belong above it. <laughs> All right, so now we got Undertale. Cries with a copy of Jericho and Blanky. Dude, we still have our copy over here. We haven't snapped it yet. We will. Uh, Undertale. Undertale, honestly, for me, I think goes below Jericho. Dude, and it's not fair to the game, but you know what did not help the game? My playthrough? The fans. The fans did not help my opinion of this game. Having like 12 new people I've never met come into my stream every day I was playing. You should do this. Eat the spider cookie. Don't eat the spider cookie. You should get this. No, don't talk to her. Don't attack this person. Like, ugh, fuck. The game itself was cute and I really liked it, but I was not allowed to play the game the way I wanted. I mean, I did, obviously, but like, oh yeah, people come in pacifist run. Uh, and I'm like, well, I think I'm gonna do this. And they'll be like, mm -mm, don't do that. You'll screw your other ending. Like, uh, the game itself was fine. It was like, it was a really interesting concept and I liked the battling. But Tosa, you have nothing to apologize for. You didn't do that. You did not do that. You would come in and you'd be like, hey, do you want me to tell you? And I'm like, sure, tell me. And you're like, hey, don't do this. Like, okay, I won't. Like, you did not come in. Also, I know you. You were not a random fucking straight, like stranger coming in telling me how to live my life. But Tosai, you have nothing to apologize for. I like, I enjoyed the experience. I just, I don't think I'll ever play it again. I don't think I'll ever play it again. Get fucked entire Undertale community. Yeah, honestly, if you want more people to play your games, fuck off. Let them play the game. So, uh, put it in skate tier out of spite. Yeah, all right, we'll put it in skate tier. No, no, no. It's honestly, yeah, it's just a game. It is just a game for me. Music was sick, though. I will give it that. The music in that game is sick. In script. Actually, these are both your redemptions, Batosai, aren't they? Didn't you do Undertale and Inscription? Well, regardless, so Inscription was awesome. Inscription was a surprising full chub. I'm gonna put it above Cry of Fear, but below 50 Cent. Are you sure, Batasai? I'm pretty sure you did Inscription. Oh no, you did. I thought you said the other one. I thought you did Undertale also, didn't you? I thought you did. Um, So Inscription actually would be a lot higher if it didn't blow its load in the first third of the game. Oh, thanks for the bits, Daddy. Pets Jericho copy. <laughs> we did it, mate. We beat Undertale. Let's fuck to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, except Jericho's not gonna know how to fuck. It's just gonna run into a corner until you move. <laughs> so, Inscription would be higher. Inscription might actually be in favorite, make me so horny. If it didn't blow its load in the first third of the game, that first time you play it, when you got like the bones and you're making your deck and everything, was so fun. When I was building my deck and having everything the way I wanted it, that was a blast. But then the la the two thirds of the game, were the last two thirds were fun. They just couldn't compare to the first third. So like, overall it was fun. I also didn't give a shit about any of the story stuff. I like the effort they put into it, but I was not concerned about it. So, eh. What is this song? Give me something. Sure, it's Zelda. That'll work. It's just all Act One for as long as you'd like. Dude, Act One was so good. 
Act one was so fun. I enjoyed you playing with your deck on stream. Oh. You gotta try Casey's mod, man. Oh, okay, dude, yeah. <coughs> I'll look into it because I really did like the first act of Inscription. It was really, really good. Uh, hold on. I don't like this blank space being there, so let's fill it up with Fat Otis. Um, is an Inscription a card game? It is. It was actually pretty fun. It was. It was really good, but it just got... It's weird it started so strong, so to say it got worse the more you played it doesn't sound right, but it technically did. To me, on paper, it got worse the longer you played it, but, like, being amazing and then going down to just being really fun is not a bad thing. Inscription was a strange one. Weird to see a game change style after the longest tutorial. <laughs> Dude, I really liked the first act. It just kind of, nah. All right, DKC, you got Majora's Mask. It's biased. That can't go anywhere else on the tier list. Honestly, this should just be called biased or Zelda tier. It can't win. It's Majora's Mask. As so far as where I'm putting it in the biased ranking, well, you're going to get an early tier ranking of Zelda games then. It's not high up on there for me. It was fine. It's, Majora's Mask is a fine game. There's, I would rather play like 80% of the other Zelda games before playing Majora's Mask again. People are going to be mad, but... I did it. I landed above Majora's Mask. So keep in mind, Biased is not the worst tier. It's just a place to put it because it got redeemed. It needs a place. But yeah, Majora's Mask is better than Tactics in my opinion because I beat Majora's Mask. I can't beat Tactics because it cooked me. So this just this is where things go if it just doesn't make sense to put it anywhere else. Maniac Mansion. Let me have this. I can't can't that game hurt me in a way so you must now be hurt as well blackheart you don't like my review of majora's mask well it's not not a big fan of it maniac mansion that was aiden's redemption it's above simpsons but below tactics we cooped it the game has terrible moon people logic i think his horror guy likes to put it um i like the concept but a point and click adventure where you have to switch between three different characters? Just not for me, man. DKC, you have actually one of my favorite clips from Maniac Mansion, where literally I just said like, I still have no idea what's supposed to be happening. And you captioned it like, what was it? Like, Otis watching in, uh, uh, Inception or something like that? Ugh. Majora's Mask is definitely my least favorite Zelda, aside from Zelda 2. Yeah, Majora's Mask, I just couldn't get into, man. I just, it's a Zelda game, it's fun, it's Ocarina, but it's, you know, just different. The Fierce Deity Link is fucking sick, and I do like the concept of the masks, but just the time stuff really bogs it down for me. Path of Neo, this is another skate redemption, and very obviously this belongs in skate tier below Maniac Mansion, oddly enough, above Simpsons. Above Simpsons. My favorite point and click game is Grim Pandango. I've never played it, but I've heard it's really, really good. Path of Neo, we had to coop. This was a terrible game. Yes, we had a really bad ROM of it. The emulation was not very smooth, but uh, it was garbage. It was really, really bad. I can't even, I didn't even play that much of it. I played like two hours, we cooped it. It's garbage. Path of Neo, you're not below Simpsons just because we played you long. Uh, wait, which Simpsons game? It was like the invasion of the space mutants on the NES. The one where the first level is you have to collect everything purple. It sucks. It's okay, Batosa, I love Majora's Mask. Games are art for everyone. Yeah, sure, there's certain ones. Uh, there are a couple Matrix games. This was the one Skate Redeemed. It was terrible. That wasn't Bart's Nightmare. I think Bart's Nightmare was the Super Nintendo one, right? I have a feeling I'm going to be hurt by your opinion of MGS3. We'll see. We'll see. The next one is uh, another Justice Redemption. McDonald's Wonderland Crazy Adventure Emporium Experience. That's just a game. Higher up than Undertale. Lower than Jericho, because Jericho is the fucking Mendoza line. 
It's fine. Just an average fucking uh average platformer. It is what it is. Can't really say much about it. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I think Fluff is the one that redeemed this. Um, honestly, this one should go in bias, but following the same rules as Diddy Kong Racing, uh, we did enjoy it more than Croc. It's going in favorite me so horny. I played this game so much as a kid and then Fluff redeemed it and we played it again. We learned something new. We learned you could kill the fear by burning his nuts with the torch. Did not know you could do that. It was tremendous. Thank you for the hydrate of my concho daddy. Mm. Where is it? Do I have the thing? Um. Snake. Dude, Snake Eater was great. Great game. Can't wait for MGS4 at some point. I'm excited too, because we cooped that one a really, really long time ago, and I think we were pretty close to the end. I have enough points to redeem four games. Pick it at it. Oh my god. Probs will redeem Goldeneye and a couple of Ratchet and Clank games. Hell yeah, that'd be fun. I'm excited. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so now, in my opinion, MGS4 is superior. We'll have to play it and give our opinion. Because Snake Eater is hands down my favorite Metal Gear. Hands down. So we'll have to play it and reevaluate. We got another skate redemption in Little Misfortune. This game was fucking awesome and a bummer all at the same time. There were people who were crying in chat. I know it. Don't say you didn't. Don't say you weren't. I might have enjoyed Croc more, but I think Little Misfortune, a rarity. We have a skate top tier selection from the queue. Top tier was really fun. If you want a sad game, play this, but it was fun. If I buy MGS collection, it will be after a time of cart, RE4 remake and Dead Island 2. Uh, I love the whole series, but four was the only one I couldn't play. No PS3. Ah, no. The world's gonna end, Luke, I know. I know, Luke. We actually have a, a top tier pick from Skate. It was fun. Didn't overstay its welcome. It was like two hours. Wild game. Good time. The next one should be of no surprise to anybody. Uh, Brave Fencer Musashi. Musashi. We're going to move these down at the bottom because these are like not. Wait, what? What? What happened? We're gonna move these down to the bottom because these are definitely like replay almost biased. So those are gonna be bottom tier. Brave Fencer Musashi. I don't know if it's higher than Evil Dead. This is what's gonna be hard at the end of the list, figuring out what is number one and who wins the prize. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. True. Little Misfortune was fucking awesome. Little Misfortune was very good. One of my favorites is coming up or one of your favorites growing up. For Brave Fencer? Dude, that was fun. It was a first playthrough. I never touched it before. This one was ace. Um, It was so much fun. It was so much fun. It was a little long. And actually, we almost cooped this one. Because I guess the way that we played it, we like soft locked the game. Not like the game did it, but it was like the ROM didn't work on the PlayStation Classic and I'd already put like 20 hours into the game. And then someone who speed runs the game came in. I don't even remember his name. I followed him, but I don't remember his name. He fucking, uh, like, he speed runs it and he's like, hey, get this emulator. I'll get you to exactly where you were in about 15 minutes. He made up like 20 hours of progress. Well, maybe more like 10 in 15 minutes. And he got me right back to where I was. And I just loaded up on the emulator and finished the game. Super fun. We almost cooped it, but now it's up in fucking favorite. Make me so horny. Isn't Brave Fencer a series? It is, yeah. I have not played, like, because I've never played any of them. I've not played any of the sequels, but I heard they're all right. It's a good game. His clapbacks are hilarious. It was just a really fun game. It was a good time. I'm sad I missed out on it. 
So now we have another skate pick with Outlast. Honestly, Outlast was a good time. I had a lot of fun with Outlast. I'm gonna put it abo above Bloodborne. Again, Bloodborne's kind of lower. We'll put it down here at the end um, because that one's a replay and we aren't as horny for it as we were like Metal Gear and Diddy Kong. But Outlast was really, really fun. I was dreading playing this game because I do not like jump scare games, especially first person jump scare games. Um, but it was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. It's definitely more than just a game but I think I am going to put it below God Hand because it is out of everything in Surprising Full Chub. It is definitely the one I am least likely to play again. But Outlast was actually pretty good. Pajama Sam? That was a very recent one. That was Thunder, Jade, and Skate. I think all worked on that one. Like getting that one redeemed. Um, but, I mean, it's a pretty short point and click. Uh, it's going to go in just a game for me. And it's gonna go below Jericho. Cause yeah, it was funny, it was cute. It was like four hours and it was very lit. I mean, it's made for kids, so it's not supposed to be hard and that's fine, but eh, nothing too crazy. Ooh, we got Pogue's Redemption of Parasite Eve. Parasite Eve was a lot of fun. Parasite Eve, we're probably gonna put up high and surprising full chub. That one I can see myself going back to and playing a lot. Uh, you know, for having a reputation for picking bad games, Skate's picks are higher up on the list than I expect. There's a lot more coming. Don't worry. Let me see. Yep, we got that one. Uh, we have Path and uh, Neo on there. Uh, there's other ones on there. I gotta figure out. When we get to them, we'll remember where they are. The best cutscene. It's true. That one did have the best cutscene I've seen in video games. Um... Yeah, I think right between Hercules and Boyfriend Dungan is a good spot for it. I think that's solid. Uh, isn't Code Veronica on the list? No, Code Veronica we did when we just did the Resident Evil series playthrough. That's why none of the Resident Evils are here, because no one redeemed them, other than three. No one redeemed them. But, like, Silent Hill, that was, like, Horror Guy and Fluff both tag-teamed those to get those redeemed. So now we've got... Faye's Redemption of Perfect Dork. Uh, this one is kind of a bias pick, so it is going to be in the back of wherever we put it. Uh, obviously, it's going to go in. It's going to go in the full chub tier. We like it more than Bloodborne. We played it on Perfect Agent for like eighty percent of the game, which was super not fun. It would probably be higher up on full chub if uh, it would be higher up if we didn't play it on Perfect Agent, but that shit was annoying on Perfect Agent. Uh, oh, we got another DKC redemption in Pilot Wing 64. Damn, dude, Pilot Wing 64 is going at the back end of, of They Just Stop Trying. That game was also very boring. It was weird how they took more, like in Pilot Wings on the Super Nintendo, they had five events you could do. In Pilot Wings 64, they had three. They reduced the amount of events that were in the game on a newer system. That was something. It's almost they just stopped trying. It's honestly almost they just stopped trying. I have Perfect Dark, uh, but I have the remake. I don't know what the differences are. Uh, do you mean like the remake that you would download or do you mean like Perfect Dark Zero? Does it Perfect Dark Zero burn it? Perfect Dark was frustrating, especially when the AI kept getting themselves killed. <laughs> Dude, they did that a lot. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Was that? I don't remember if that was Sarah. Whose redemption was that? Oh, that was Vesp. Wait a minute, Vesp redeemed that one. Right. Well, honestly, Thousand Year Door to me is just high tier, just a game. Don't, uh, I like the first one more. We'll have to replay it and see if that opinion still holds. Uh, but yeah, honestly, the game is too long. It had some really frustrating parts. Um, 
I didn't do the... I think we got down to, like, level 70 or level 80 on the... the... whatever you want to call it, the dungeon bit. It was fine, I guess. But, man, there were a lot of, like, random, like, running back and forth segments that didn't need to happen. Chapter 7 or Chapter 8, where you have to look around. You start in the snow area, and you have to find this bomb dude. Was that the word area I just said? I was like, area, area. And then they make you go to each and every biome to find him, only for him to end back up at the snow biome. Yeah, it's high just a game. I remember back in the day, everyone hated Thousand Year Door. Now everyone loves it. Like, I think it's a fine game, but it just didn't blow my socks off. I like the N64 one more. Speaking of, I remember you promised us a Super Mario RPG playthrough. When is that happening, mister? Did you see it behind me? Is that what reminded you? Because you saw it behind me? Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know when that'll happen. Hopefully soon. Dude, maybe on my birthday. Ooh. Um, all right. Portal Reloaded? It says soundtrack, but I couldn't find a better image that just said Portal Reloaded. Uh, that's a cooped it. We cooped it. Um, I'm honestly gonna put it lower than Simpsons because this game made me feel stupid. The Bart versus the Space Mutants or whatever the fuck it was, uh, I knew the game was stupid. This game made me feel stupid. Therefore, it's the lowest on the totem pole right now. <laughs> this was Sound Ninja's Redemption, uh, and it made me feel real dumb. No thousand year door. I didn't even notice because of the balloons. Oh, all right. Fair enough. Yeah, hopefully soon. Um, Resident Evil 3. Uh, dude, that's kind of a hard one because I enjoyed it. But at the same time, I mean, it's, I think it's kind of just an average game. I think we probably enjoyed it more. That's probably a fair place for it. Resident Evil 3. I like it a lot more than a lot of other people like the remake. But I never played 3 before playing this. I have now. But I never played this before playing 3. I thought it was fun. Uh, What even in that Portal game? I've seen it on Game Pass and uh, at GameStop. So Portal Reloaded, they made like really, really hard puzzles that introduced like a time portal. Uh, It's really hard. It's really, really hard. Like there's like 20 levels and I think we got to like 12. And like literally levels 8, 9, 10, and 11, we cheated to even get past those. Like that game was just stupid hard. Or as we discussed, I'm also very stupid. Um, R type. Again, that's just gonna go low, cooped it, because we technically did not finish it. Uh, that was Pancakes Redemption. We technically, I think we had like another level to go and we just never came back to it. Was one plus one? 21. Oh, Shenmue. Oh, Shenmue. You're 100% getting the lowest on the totem pole right now, man. You sucked. You're boring. Nothing happened. Spoiler alert. Three games and you still don't even get to the conclusion of your shitty story. Terrible. Shenmue was garbage. Forklifts can lift my anus. That is some bullshit. Anybody named Fluff who thinks it's a good game, they are wrong. Bam. <laughs> uh, still better than Shenmue, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, Shenmue is fucking trash. It almost sounds like you don't like Shenmue. I don't. I've never been more disappointed by a game in my life. I wanted to play Shenmue. I heard it's good. If you're going to play it, play like the whatever Xbox One, like digital version. Don't emulate the Dreamcast version. That's how I played it. And it was terrible. It was boring. Nothing ever happened. You were held to stupid time constraints like in Majora's Mask, but you couldn't fast forward or skip time. You just had to play arcade games to make time pass or hope you did everything on the one day you needed to do it. Otherwise, if you missed an event at five o'clock in the afternoon, you had to go to sleep, wait the fucking like 12 hours until it was five o'clock again. Terrible. And then the forklifts, suck my anus. 
Suck my anus. Shenmue's a terrible game. Um, so now we're on the Silent Hill series. This is gonna fucking run the gamut on the tier list. Shenmue, show more like Shen. Mo, hold on, I got you. Hold on. There we go. I had to turn off the music so you could get the tightest laugh. You have to ask a lot of people if they're Chinese. Feels real dicey. Yeah, there is that weird part at the beginning of the game where you just need to find Chinese people. So you're just asking, like, are you Chinese? Shen Mu, more like Shen Pu. Tim, it was right there. It was right there. And you went with Shen Moat. I get it. Shen Do, Shen Don't. I have the Silent Hill HD Collection and Homecoming. I haven't started them yet. Meh. I've heard the HD Collection's a mess and Homecoming isn't great either. I chose violence. All right, so we're going to start with Silent Hill 1. This, I believe, Silent Hill 1 and 2, I think were Horror Guy. And I think 3 was Fluff and then 4 was Fluff. So Silent Hill 1... Dude, Silent Hill 1 is a fucking... What, did I replace something? Wait, what just happened? That didn't replace something, right? They just scooted it in there? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Silent Hill 1 was fucking awesome. I, like, Silent Hill 1 was what actually made me really want to play 2 and 3. I had a lot of fun with 1. I really wish 1 would get, like, some kind of remake love. Or something. Because, man, it's, it's sometimes hard to look at, but that game was really fun. I want to go through it and play it again so I can get, like the pickaxe or the hammer because I didn't get that on my playthrough and I don't think I got the best ending because I didn't refill like a bottle with the red liquid that was on the ground in the office whatever that thing was but I want to play it again to try to get the best ending Silent Hill 1 was my favorite in the series hands down so that means the other ones can only go down from there um Silent Hill 2 Silent Hill 2 I really liked. Um, I'm trying to put it... There we go. I Surprising Full Chub. Um, it was a really good game. Story's good. I already knew some of it going into it, but I've never played it before. Um, there really weren't any frustrating parts, except for the part where you got like ambushed by two pyramid heads and I couldn't figure out what I needed to do. But that was like right at the end of the game and we figured it out eventually. Um... I mean, everyone already knows it's a good game. I don't have to get into it anymore. It's a good game. You should play it. Did you play Origins or Shattered Memories? I did not. Silent Hill 3. Honestly? I think Silent Hill 3 is a high they just stopped trying. <laughs> what did FND say? People be salty? Uh, It completely skipped just a game and into they just stopped trying. My reasoning for why it's at least not bottom tier, they just stopped trying. The end of that game sucks. The end of that game was so frustrating and the final boss fight, like that whole, like you're in the church, going through the different areas and even the mall part at the beginning was frustrating. Some of the logic, how you had to put like the pesticides in the trash can, but only when the fan was turned on, otherwise you killed yourself. Tickle. Like. I thought this game was more of a chore to play. When we beat it, we were happy we beat it. So, honestly, that's high they just stopped trying. Look at how it went. We got Silent Hill 1, 2, and then 3 took a huge dive. And then uh, Silent Hill 4 belongs in the bottom of they just stopped trying. Silent Hill 4 was a miserable experience beginning to end. That's why Silent Hill 3 at least isn't right there with it. Maybe this is too rough. Maybe Silent Hill 3 should be here. But we're gonna put it here just for the fucking... the hate. Because to me that just feels right. That's where I think it should go. Even though there's a bevy of people who this is their favorite one and they think it's a masterpiece and that's cool. Wasn't my experience. I thought it was garbage at the end. Uh, we have yet another Skate Redemption of Sly 2. That also belongs in Cooped It. 
No, I don't think it goes above Simpsons. Simpsons didn't waste our time. Sly 2 wasted our time. Yep, I think that's a good place for Sly 2. So now that's... Yeah, that's another skate redemption. Uh, did you take the doll in Silent Hill 4? Yeah, the troll doll at the end, where if you take it, it gives you a bad ending or it fucks you over in some way. Yep, I did. Dude, I got the worst ending in Silent Hill 4, and I'm glad. I hope everyone experienced a painful death at the end of that game. That game was terrible. Not fun. Mark, it's what you've been waiting for. This was a Luke redemption. It surprised everybody. It surprised me. Superman 64. Not a troll pick. I know it seems like it is. I know it seems like it's a troll pick, but under the parameters that I fucking played Superman 64, this shit was so much fun. It was a janky, hot ass mess, but when you're snurfed and you can use save states, this game is really fun. You suck, I don't know where it falls jackass. in the line of the other ones that are in top tier, but Superman 64 is 100% in my top tier. We had Dopey Soperman, we had the fucking like ring missions where you had to fucking fly around and do shit and the controls weren't that bad. There were like the fighting in the game where he does like hammer punches. I wanna smoke crack! Yay! That shit was really fun. The Lex wins. Lex wins! Anytime you died or instantly failed the mission, it would just immediately pop up. Lex wins on the screen. Worse than Superman 64. <laughs> DKC, do you see any of these you want me to give a recap over again? I will, just for you, bud. Because I love you and you deserve it. Yeah, dude. Superman 64 is up there with top contenders like Brave Fencer Musashi and Silent Hill. I fucking loved it. It was great. Everyone's going to think this is a troll list. It's not. It's how I feel. It's how I feel in my heart. Oh, thanks for the bits, Daddy. Hold on, Otis. <laughs> I just want to ask Dopey Soperman to do something to me. Go on. What do you want Dopey Just Soperman to do? To me, Daddy! Oh my god, he'll get right on it. Although he'll probably screw it up and end up killing you. Wait, does that mean you think Red Dead 2 is worse than Superman 64? Yeah, yeah, I do. But. Again, that's my personal experience. No, Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 is clearly the better game. That is a much better game than Superman 64. But yeah, I would much rather play Superman 64 than Red Dead Redemption 2. Unless it was like online and I was just lassoing friends over Hello, and over. Thanks for the bits, Daddy. Quick, quick recap of Silent Hill and they just stopped <laughs> trying, please. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, Silent Hill is in it like fucking make me horny. Silent Hill 2 is in Surprising Full Chub. But yeah, Silent Hill 3, we put in They Just Stopped Trying because I really didn't enjoy kind of core parts of that game. The middle of the game, I really liked. I had fun with it. But the beginning part had some kind of annoying puzzles that I didn't really like. And the end, the whole part when you're in the church and the final boss, all of that sucked. All of that was not fun. I did not enjoy it at all. And I, I, I said I should have put it here, but I'm legitimately putting it here uh, for the lulls because it's in the same tier as Silent Hill 4. And this game is garbage. Silent Hill 4 was super boring, terrible, controlled terribly. The mechanics sucked. Uh, the, the room mechanic was like neat, but then it turned terrible when you weren't even safe in the room. It's terrible. DKC is 70 bits left until he can't drop anymore. Oh, wait. Oh my god. Dude, you're right. You're right. Shit. You're right. DKC, what are you going to do when you want to communicate with me through Brian? How do you do it? Uh, so yeah. DKC, that is why Silent Hill 3 is a game that some people, it is their favorite game ever made, is in my They Just Stop Trying tier. Because at the end of the game, they just stop trying. We beat it, but we were happy to beat it. We were happy to be done with it. <clears throat> uh, Spy Hunter, 
this is one of Luke's redeems, honestly. Just a game. It goes above Pilot Wings, because Pilot Wings we actually were annoyed with for part of it. Uh, that's why Pilot Wings is at the bottom of just a game, but it wasn't too bad to be they just stopped trying. Yeah, that was that was one of yours, right, Luke? It was fine. We got through it in like you know, a couple hours or something like that. Ooh, Star Fox 64. DKC, was this another oh, one for, for you? Bits, Daddy. Now 69 bits until no more bits. What a super duper sexy yet super duper <laughs> sad thought. Well, I don't know what we'll do, man. No more DKC Brian. Uh, Star Fox 64 kind of belongs up here with Snake Eater and Diddy Kong. It's a game I could just replay endlessly, but we've done it a bunch, so it can't win. Uh, but DKC, you definitely win the nostalgia picks. I think you might have done... It was either you or Pancake. I think it was you, though. I think it was you. You could keep going from 69-69 to 69-69-69. Oh, he's on to something. He lured you in. Lancer now lured you in for more bits. <laughs> One game I didn't pick, but I added. <laughs> yeah, Pilot Wings. Yep, you added it. Nobody picked it. Uh, Super Metroid? Super Metroid is fun. Uh, that's gonna go in high just a game. Because it was fun. I don't know if I really ever want to replay it again, but we needed hand-holding, though. That was when Joey was watching. Um, and Joey kind of held our hand through a lot of the game because we got lost. And, uh, he would kind of get us out of a bind on that one. Dude, we're getting close to the end. That's not too bad. This might take, like, what, two hours? I have no idea what I'm going to do after it. Eric said he wanted to do some Fortnite, so I guess if that's still on the table, we could do that. Um, commit your next 690,000 bits of your gold. I'm going to need a commitment. I need a pledge. DKC, do you pledge your next 69, <laughs> 690,000 bits? Takes out a loan for bits. Nice. Good. Good. Do it. Uh... Maybe you could do another rando. Oh, possible. Yo, where's Fortnite going? Uh, I did not make a, like, what's the word? Um, Stockholm Syndrome tier. I did not make that yet. <laughs> a game that I have now just gotten used to fucking playing. <laughs> no one added it. No, that's true. No one added it. Very true. Super Mario World, I believe, with Seraphims. Uh, Super Mario World is just going to fit right in the middle. Um, it's going to go above Destroy All Humans, but below Chasm. But I honestly don't know if I ever want to play Super Mario World again. It's just a game. I don't have any issues with it, but... Um, you used to have a redeem for one mill that made you play Fortnite. It's true. I did. We got rid of it. You played it because you wanted to so badly. I know. I know I did. Don't hit me again. <laughs> I did. I wanted it. Super Mario World above Jericho. Oh, yeah. Super Mario World is definitely above Jericho. For sure, it's above Jericho. Um... Dude. So we are, we're on Turtles now. That's the NES Turtles. I think this was also a Luke Redemption. I remember this one being frustrating. We're going to put it below Spy Hunter because it frustrated us, but above Pile of Wings because we did enjoy it more once we figured out some cheese with it. Ocarina of Time, that is biased. That's just going to go above Majora's for obvious reasons. Then we've got Page Master. Dude, Page Master is interesting. Dude, why did I make Forgot I Played It? Oh, right. <laughs> We're just going to put that there right now. 
because I legitimately did forget I played that one on stream. I also forgot I played Bug Snacks. Because, like, Jesus Christ, those games just were not doing it for me. Anyways, Page Master. This was FD's Redeem. It's hard to place because we beat it in an hour, but only because it let us cheat. We didn't know that we were cheating, and we were cheating. So I think it's going to go in high just a game because we enjoyed it. But it, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, that's probably fair. Would I play Page Master before I would play Devil May Cry or Resident Evil 3, though? I don't think I would. I would probably play these before I would play. Yeah, that feels better. Wait, how did you cheat it? Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Tim. Uh, so in the game, Arthur. Uh, oh my God, song is doing. Small, small, David. Small, small, David. Small, small, David. Small, small, David. Small weed. Um, if you put in. Smoke weed, weed every day. day. If you put in a certain button combo, it would just unlock all levels for you to play. But the way they programmed it was it never forgot those inputs. So just at any point during your playthrough, if you hit A, B, L, R, and start, it will remember all of those input. No, not that. It was Baldy Baldy. So it was B, A, L, R, Y. That's what it is. Or er, yeah, wait, what is down? So it's B, A, L, D, Y. Fuck. Uh, ballery, ballery. Uh, you would do baldy, baldy. So you would do B A L down and Y. So uh, it would remember those inputs, and it would just unlock the cheat as soon as you put it in at any point. At any point. Hey, little misfortune's S tier. Yes, skate. Little misfortune is S tier. That game was really good, and it was a huge bummer, but like, it meant to be. It achieved its goal. It was very good. Uh, what did we just do? Which one did we just do? We did the page master. Okay, yeah. So we managed to beat the game because we went to the last level and beat it. But if we had to play that game, we would have cooped it. If we had to actually play every level of that game, we would have had to coop it. But because they programmed that poorly for the cheat, we're going to put it in just a game. Skate tier with only two skate games. I know. I know. Um, let's see. We've got Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 is really fun. I don't know if I'd ever go play it again, but it is high just uh, just a game. That was, it was a good time. It was a first person shooter. Sounds like a mistitled tier. Nah, it's perfectly titled. Don't you worry about it. I got it taken care of. Uh, I love Titanfall 2. Probably my favorite EA FPS campaign, at least from what I can think of. It was very good. Campaign made you get the feels for a robot. You were sad when bad things happened to it. It was very good shooter, competent. The wall running was fun. Overall, good game. I don't think I'd ever play it again. Uh, Tunic. So Tunic was fun but it also overstayed its welcome. I think Tunic is gonna go... I think I would rather play Goemon before Tunic. Yeah. I think Tunic is a solid, like, mid-tier for me. Like, it was fine. Tunic is like a Zelda clone, but the coolest thing it had going with it was... It really steered into that retro mechanic where you would find pages of the instruction guide and that was actually telling you how to play the game because it was all in like a foreign language. Um, it, it was it was interesting, but it ran a little long. It ran a little long and I don't know, it just to me didn't really do it, but it was all made by one person. It's a really good game. It just to me. It didn't quite scratch that Zelda itch I wanted out of it. Even though it did do a very good job with it. 
Turok is another, uh, well, okay, so kind of. I never really played Turok as a kid, but I watched my brother play it a lot. I really enjoyed it. I think this was a Justice Redeem. I don't know. I think I'm going to put it at a high, surprising full chub. Really did enjoy playing through it, though. We're going to put it at, at bottom of make me so horny. We're going to put it bottom, make me horny. <laughs> Blah, chapter one, jungle hunter. Uh, I never played it either. I want the PS2 game. Uh, if it's Turok, what was the one on PS2? Evolutions? Don't play that one. That will ruin your opinion of Turok. Don't do that one. Um, Mario World above Tunic. That's a W for me. Yeah, I think I enjoyed Mario World more than Tunic. I think it's time. Uh, go on. You sleep back to work on Tuesday. Need to fix my sleeping patterns. Here's to the next year. Bob, yes. Bob, yes. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out, Lee. I really appreciate it, bud. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you'll be able to catch some more games we'll add to the next year's fucking tier list. Ugh. Ooh, fuck. Battle Royale 2023. Oh my god. DKC added Goldeneye. Uh, yeah, but yeah, where is it? Go, mate. Ooh, yeah, but yeah. Damn, so we already got Goldeneye on there. He said he could do four, so I'm waiting to see if he does more. Um, I stay for Battle Royale, then bed. Oh, Kaz is over on the left. He's living. He's got the fucking Nikita, though. He's cheating. Zombie Phoenix is trying to just ride that ass on Kaz, though. Holy fuck. There's a health kit there. Is Kaz going for it? Oh, my God. Kaz might win. Kaz might win. Wait. All right. Oh, health kit. Who's it fall on? Oh, it fell on Arthur, I think. The Nikita comes out. Oh, zombie took you out. Now it's just between Jackson and zombie and zombie wins congrats zombie congrats on your your w so twilight princess is easy is, is, is gonna be weird to place i think i like it more than ocarina's but ocarina's i know more back and forth and would probably be more willing to play so we'll rate ocarina higher than twilight but it still goes in bias I'll hold off yet because I'm currently debating what Ratchet and Clank I want to see. Oh my god. I'm excited. We have another Luke redemption of Wizards and Warriors 3. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. It just belongs with the rest of his NES redemptions. Dude, he's got a he's got a potential winner in Superman 64, but like all of his other redemptions are just like they're pretty average just a game. <laughs> Let's just put it with the rest of his NES games. Right here, this is Luke's childhood. Childhood. His incredible crash test dummies, wizards and warriors, Fi Hunter, and Turtles. That was his childhood. Twilight Princess is my favorite Zelda. I think I like Twilight Princess more than Ocarina, but I am more willing to go back and play Ocarina, I think. Zelda 2? Dude, we had a lot more fun with Zelda 2 than I thought we were gonna have. I would probably put Zelda 2, uh, well, that's unbiased, actually. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it at the top, I think. I think I'm gonna put it at the top. You legit liked more of my games than you disliked? Say sorry. Nope, shake my hand. Not happening, bud. No? All right. Moving on. Dante's Inferno, that's definite they just stopped trying. Dude, Dante's Inferno is... Definitely, they just stopped trying. Mm. Mm. Where does it go when they just stop trying, though? Mm. Dude, I really don't know where I... <laughs> I 
against Dante's Inferno or go above the room? <coughs> what is wrong with Dante's Inferno? Dude, the second half of that game sucks. I mean, did did we play that one on hard too? Did we play that one on hard? I don't remember. Man of God of War, but bad. Dude, yeah, it like the first half of the game had really interesting ideas. But yeah, it was just a slog to get through and I just did not enjoy it towards the end. That one was rough. Dead to Rights was also kind of rough. I think Dead to Rights might go and they just stop trying. As much as I really liked that game when I was younger, playing True Crime Streets of LA. Hmm. I love it because the world's aesthetic, but I can see why people wouldn't enjoy Dante's. Yeah, like, they put effort into the world and the story and everything, but like, man, I just, that back half of the gameplay was so rough, but I don't remember if I played it on hard. Did we play that one on hard? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We put it on normal because hard was fucking insane. Yeah. Dude, dead to rights. I mean, yeah, Dead to Rights probably goes above Darkness, but below Silent Hill 3. Dead to Rights was kind of rough. That was definitely not what we were expecting. I was expecting to really fucking like it. Um, Dude, True Crime was a lot of fun. True Crime was a lot of fun. It can't win, though, because that is like a definite bias one. So they'll probably go up here with all the other like bias top tiers dead to rights looks like max Payne, from what i know it is but it's really shitty max Payne. the only part about dead to rights that was fun was you had like cool disarms where you'd execute people but like everything else was very like you never had to use the slow motion mm, two top tiers i give i wouldn't give yourself credit for that one skate like that one's kind of like a no duh I don't think I'd give yourself credit for that one. Gate picks good games. We talked about this one before you picked it, bud. That's cheating. That's just like DKC talking about Goldeneye. Little Misfortune was a banger, though. You did knock it out of the park with that one. You did knock it out of the park with that one. That was a good one. Um, Gregory Horror Show. That was a coop dip. That was just not for us. That was Watson's pick. I think that goes right above Shenmue. I think that goes right above it. I picked three. That's what I told you, but we talked about it before you did it. I don't count. Calm down. You have a winner in there. Calm down, bud. It's okay. It's okay. Dead Force Gemini was also cooped. We didn't finish it. That's definitely going to go above. No, nah, that's going to go above that. That'll go right below Tactics. Burger Horror Show, isn't that that hotel game? It is, yeah. It's, uh... I, it just wasn't for me. It was it was really convoluted to try to figure out what you wanted to do. F and D look, Page Master got pretty high up on just a game. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, Jump King, dude, also a coop. Jump King is also a coop. It because that snow bullshit was fucking unacceptable. Couldn't do it. I mean, I talk about all the games I chose before I chose it. Does that mean my choices aren't indicative either? No, that's not true. But I have to raz skates berries because he gets riled up. Uh, Pogo stuck. Even though he's making very valid points, it's fun to just rile him up. Uh, Pogo stuck is also a cooped it. Also, so see, see how he's repeating. Even though I've already admitted he's right, he's he's getting riled up. That's the fun. Um, let's see here. Shadow of the Colossus. Ooh, dude, I hated Shadow of the Colossus. I hated it. I thought I would like it. Technically, I think we cooped this one too. I think we cooped Shadow of the Colossus also. Dude, actually, all the last ones are ones that we cooped. We cooped Tenchu and we cooped Alien. So Colossus was just boring. 
and the AI never worked the way it was supposed to work. I've got a giant alien in my asshole. Tenchu was too fucking, like, dark. I couldn't see anything that was happening. Uh, an alien isolation. Man, prepares the lotion and tissues in the lazy boy chair for the furious bath fest. <laughs> Dude. Alien isolation. I... Unless you're a really big fan of Alien, I do not understand what you like about this game. Like, even after we turned off the microphone thing, it didn't get any better. If an enemy saw you, you would never be able to shake them. Never. Fucking, uh... The, what the enemies could and couldn't see, you had no good indication of. Like, I understand in stealth games sometimes it breaks immersion if they have like a meter that fills up or a fucking like eye that opens up or something show me something that shows that they see me they don't they didn't show me anything you just I, they're looking at me can they see me can't they no okay i guess i'll just hide some more you hide in spaces the enemy stands where you're hiding Dude, the, it is a terrible stealth game it's a great fucking like knob gobble for fucking fans of alien like oh here's all your references and here's ripley and here's all this and, uh, like great make a good game make a good game don't make this fucking boring shit that you lose progress on because you can't even save safely Ooh. that shit sucks nerds you're goddamn right dude they need to design a good game Dude, so here we are. Here is your tier list. So now let me look at the individual tiers really quick. And with that, I have finished. All that troll and I still don't get bottom fucking Shenmue. Yeah, no, Shenmue, Shenmue was my least favorite thing I think I played besides Silent Hill 4, but we beat Silent Hill 4. Think about that. Silent Hill 4 was my least favorite thing I played, and it is higher on the tier list because I was at least able to complete it. I could not bring myself to beat Shenmue. I couldn't do it. Shit is garbage. The worst thing I played. Although this, the, the cooped it lit tier is not exactly accurate. Like, let's see. We barely got anywhere in this, so this belongs like right at the bottom. So does Tenchu. Shadow Colossus, we got decently far in. We'll put it above Portal. Alien Isolation, we will also put above Portal. We're actually going to put it above Jump King and Pogo Stuck, because those we did not really even put that much time in. We'll put it above Sly, because at least we got farther in that than Sly. And our it's better than Simpsons. Hmm... Uh, second place for me, just like Pupper Races. Wait, what? What's second place? I need to add Sneak King to the games list. Dude, how would I play Sneak King? Do I just order a 99 cent copy off of eBay? Hold on. Is it even that cheap? Or is it now an expensive game? You're scratching at the door. You're scratching at the door. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come in. Come in for me. Oh. Everybody say hi to Chewie. He was scratching at the door. Did you want to come in? What you doing? What you doing? Hold on. Yeah, look at him. Oh, look at the little Chew boy. What you doing? What you doing, Chewie? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, bud. Chewled? Little chew. Are you just gonna lay down now? All right. He's tired. You just want to come in? Um. All right. So now. 
All we need now is Fluff to come in and use the sock. No, not with Chewie. How dare you? Not with Chewie. Uh, um, I'm happy ruling is the king of Coop tier. So now what we need to do is we need to go through the favorite make me so horny and we need to pick a winner we need to pick what was my favorite thing that i played in 2022 that you guys made me play <laughs> i can say that is my tier well he's currently uh leading it right now as my name <laughs> Um, all right, let's see here. Let's see here. Little Misfortune. So here's the thing. I don't know if Little Misfortune was my favorite thing I played all year. Because like we really liked it. But the thing we need to look at is what did I talk about a lot after playing it? And there's really only three things I talked about a lot after being done with playing them. And that's these three. Like, Diddy Kong, Metal Gear, Star Fox, and True Crime don't count, because those are nostalgia playthroughs. So, those don't count. But these three? These were definitely the things I talked about most on stream. Chewie, you gotta stop licking me, bud. He le legitimately just won't stop. What do you do? Um... Fuck, man. This is so hard. This is so hard. Between the three... Evil Dead was super fun. It was rough at the first hour. But it was really, really fun. Let's be real here. Which of those three inspired an emote? Just saying. I don't know. Cause I had some really fun moments in Evil Dead. I would say Soperman because it was such a surprise banger. Dude, it was. But all of them were surprise bangers though. I, this I knew was gonna be good, but I'd never seen anything on it and I really enjoyed it. So maybe that does take away from it because it already had that behind it. But Evil Dead was supposed to be bad and we really liked it. And then Dopey, so, so I think Musashi is probably out of the running for that. I think Musashi is probably out of the running. It's between these two. It's between Evil Dead and Dopey Soperman. Dude, is it just memeing if I say Superman 64 was my favorite thing I played all year? Because I feel like in my heart it's not true. I feel like it might be Evil Dead. I, I legitimately think it might be Evil Dead. What's the second one? Like this one? This one was Brave Fencer Musashi. Dude, there's no way Superman 64 can be my favorite thing I played. I think it's Evil Dead. I think Evil Dead is easily my, like, my favorite thing that got redeemed that I played on stream this year. I think it's Evil Dead. Yeah. And that goes to Justice Daddy. I will now message Justice, or he'll probably be here later in the stream. And uh, we will figure out what he wants as a prize. Oh, Roku Daddy. What's going on, Roku? You just got here at the end of uh, the tier list of everything that my chat made me play this year. And oddly enough, Superman 64 is the second. <laughs> Superman 64 was second place. I feel like that's an expected full chub. No? So I've never played it. So a lot of this list, it's all stuff I've never played before. Things that I've played before kind of got put at the back end of every list. So like Metal Gear, Diddy Kong, Star Fox, True Crime, Bloodborne. Um, like in the higher ones are things that I have played, but most of these I haven't played. So yeah, Silent Hill 2 was a surprising full chub. I had no idea going into it if I would like it or not. But Silent Hill 1? 
Silent Hill 1 to me, that was that was my favorite in the series. I would have felt insulted if you had chosen Superman 64. Yeah, there's no way Superman 64 could have been it, right? There's no way. But man, it was fun. It was a lot of fun playing on stream. I guess it's also kind of a biased list, just in fact that like, I'm also basing my playthrough on how fun it was playing with you guys. The Superman 64 was a lot of fun, but Evil Dead was just really fun for me to play. That's not bad. We have tier list. Oh, thanks for the bits, Danny. What was your favorite out of the S tier replays and the biased list? What were some of my favorites out of the S tiers? Like, what do you, well, they're all S tiers, so they're all my favorites. But, like, favorite, like, bits about it? I mean, dude, Evil Dead was just funny. And even though it was a janky Resident Evil clone, it was so much fun. Superman was a hot mess, but being high and using save states made it a fun, bearable game. Ray Fencer Musashi was just a complete game from the fucking beginning to end. Uh, oh, for the oh bits, out of the biased ones, which are my favorites? No, I mean out of the ones that weren't a first playthrough. Um... So, out of the biased top tier, I'm gonna put them like, hold on. I'm gonna do... That. I think that, out of the biased ones, are my favorite. Diddy Kong? was by far my favorite of ones that were biased. Followed by True Crime, then Metal Gear 3, then Star Fox 64, then Turok. That is probably how I'd put them. Those are great. And then the biased ones? I mean, it's all Zelda. So, <laughs> yeah, I, the only reason I put Zelda 2 higher than Ocarina is because Zelda 2, if I want to replay it, I can get through it really quickly. Whereas Ocarina is not as quick and Twilight is the longest of all of them. And Majora's is just not a fun game for me. So most of this is just based on speed of beating because I've played them, you know, so many times that I, at that point it's just how fast can I beat them? And yeah, I think for the Cooped It tier, I think this is accurate to how I feel for every game. Tactics was really good. Dead Force Gemini was really good. It's just long. No, that's not right. Maniac Mansion needs to be much lower on this list. That's not right. I think Maniac Mansion goes below Portal. Path of Neo should not be up that high either. Um... Simpsons has a lot of things behind it, which isn't technically right either. I'd say probably like that. Path of Neo probably like there. Shenmue gets the Golden Turn Award. It does. <laughs> Can you imagine someone looking at like, my worst game of the year is Shenmue. My best game is Evil Dead Hail to the King. No fucking like article would ever hire me. Excuse me, stop moving Alien higher. Oh my God, you're right. Alien is higher up on the list. Well, okay. I did enjoy playing Jump King and Pogo Stuck. Man, I did not enjoy playing fucking Path of Neo. That's probably more accurate. No, that's not accurate. That's probably more accurate. Flip these two. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's probably more accurate. Because even though we cooped Junk King, we got to like 80% of it. It wasn't bad, but that snow area just fucking sucked. Yes, yeah, Skate, I think I liked Path of Neo more than Alien. Alien made me fucking frustrated, man. Like, it actually gave me pain in my stomach. Should that be lower because of that? It actually affected me physically. <laughs> that should be lower because it affected me physically. Dude, is it worse than the Space Mutant? No, it's not worse than Space Mutant. What was the hardest game to rank? Um... Damn, that's a good question. Uh, points well spent. Like, which game moved the most? Honestly, Alien probably moved the most just now. 
Um, not a lot of shit really moved. I kind of placed them where I liked them for the most part. Uh, yeah, I think there wasn't where I put a lot of shit is kind of how I feel about it. It's kind of pretty good. Yeah. Because like everything back behind Jericho, I would rather play or I would not rather play over Jericho. But then everything above it, I would rather play over Jericho. Dude, probably the most surprising one on here, with the exception of Evil Dead, which won, is probably Hercules. <laughs> Dude, Hercules was fucking fun. I didn't expect to like that that much. Dude, that was pretty solid. That is, uh, that was fun. We're just gonna bookmark that. Already hyped for next year's tier list. This was a lot of fun. I'd like to try to do other things for it. But, dude, this was fucking fun. Thank you guys for adding all of this shit. Look at all these games. Like, even if some were bad, like, you know, down here and in the bottom half of down here, it's still shit I never would have played without you guys. So that's incredible that, like, I was able to play this shit because I wouldn't play Inscription. I wasn't going to play God Hand. I wouldn't play Outlast. Fucking, I certainly would never have played Evil Dead. I'm happy Brave Fencer Musashi got third. It's a good one. I, it's a pretty solid fucking list. I think Jericho is the real winner being the Mentos alive. It is, dude. It's pretty, pretty decisively in the middle. Dude, it's pretty in the middle. Oh my god, it is almost like right in the middle. What the fuck? Skate tier with mostly Lancer games. He has one game in it. He's got one game. What do you mean? Lancer, get him. Lancer, get him. Get him. You know what? I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. I got him. I took care of it. Who picked Little Misfortune? You were my vote. Dude, uh, oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Let's do something real quick. Uh, let's see here. All right, so do I have in the top five where I'd want them? I think so. I think so. So hold on. Uh, actually, can you allow additional votes? How does that work? Darkflux per vote. What? How do I make that do? I don't know how to do poll. Um. Man. So does this work? Hold on. Like this? So how? It said I could allow additional votes, but how do you do that? I don't think I did that right. Want me to poll? Yes. Can you cancel my poll and do a real poll? Um, I'm sorry this happened to you, Skate. Well, so like in in Skate's like in defense for him, like saying he's being uh, attacked. Yes, lately he's been doing he's been picking better games when he first started. Dude, he had like five games and only one of them was good. But we like cooped the other ones and I can't even remember what he redeemed. They were so bad to the point where he's like, hey, can I just change them to something else? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Just you change it to something different. So the first five were really shitty and it became a meme that Skate picks bad games. But now he does pick better games. But it's the meme, so he's got to live with it. Wait, what were the games? So I was picking the first five. But is there a way to do a poll where you can pick what you would have picked for the best one on here or something? Or is there not any, that a good way to do that? Mostly Lancer games. Bro, I wouldn't even think of redeeming anything on the skate tier aside from tactics. What you're gonna do is uh, step up the skate tier next year. That's right. Well, see, you could steer into it like Luke. Luke got a second place win and he was picking troll picks, bro. 
He legit picked this because he wanted me to have a miserable time. And it turns out I loved it. <laughs> Pick worse games. Dude, his first five were pretty bad, but they've gotten better. They've gotten better. But Path of Neo and Skate were like, his like second and third choice are pretty close too. I'm trying to see who has the most in Skate tier. Probably Luke. Alien was Luke. Simpsons was Luke. Jump King was Luke. Bogo Stuck was Luke. Um, Tactics was Lancer. Tenchu was Hogue. Gregory Horror Show was Watson. Shenmue. Shenmue was Justice. Justice got literally the best and the worst game. Justice legitimately picked the best and the worst game. <laughs> Does that mean it negates his pride? <laughs> Holy shit, I just realized that. Our type was Pancake, Sly was Skate, Pathaneo was Skate. Shadow Colossus was Seraphim, Portal was Sound, and Maniac Mansion was Aiden. So yeah, Luke definitely has the most in Skate too. He do. I'm just, let's see if I can remember. So ju uh, Justice was Evil Dead, Luke was Superman, Ace was Brave Fencer Musashi, Horror Guy was Silent Hill, Watson was Croc, Skate was Little Misfortune, DKC was Diddy, Skate was True Crime, Bluff was Metal Gear, either DKC or Pancake was Star Fox, I don't remember. Justice was Turok, Boyfriend was Justice. No, Boyfriend was Tim and Joey. Boyfriend was Tim and Joey. Silent Hill was Horror Guy. Parasite Eve was Hogue. Hercules was Horror Guy. 50 Cent was Justice. Inscription I thought was Batosai, but he said no. Uh, Cry of Fear was Clover. God Hand was Justice. Outlast was Skate. Perfect Dark was Fade slash Skate. Bloodborne, that had to have been you, right, DKC? Or was that Tim? Devil May Cry 5, I don't remember. Resident Evil 3 was Coops. Titanfall was sad. I think it was sad plus lonely. Super Metroid was Joey. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I think it was Seraphim. Page Master was FND. Sound was Chasm. Super Mario World was Seraphim. Destroy All Humans was Skate. Goemon was FND. Tunic. I don't remember who did Tunic. Luke did Crash Dummies, DKC did Jericho. Skate, Thunder, and Jade all kind of tag-teamed Pajama Sam. Tim, did you do Tunic? Okay, you did Tunic. Undertale was Batosai. Wizards and Warrior was Luke. Fire Hunter was Luke. Turtles was Luke. DKC was Pilot Wings. Fluff or Horror Guy was Silent Hill 3. Dead to Rights was Justice. Darkness was Skate. Banjo was DKC. Battletoads was... Eric? Dante's Inferno was DKC. Silent Hill was Fluff. We already went through Cooped It. Outer Worlds, I do not remember. I want to say, like, Sightchum? Maybe? And I don't remember who did Bug Snacks. And then Zelda's, I think these were all DKC. And then 2 was either Skate or... But to, no, it was Ace. I think Ace did Zelda 2. Uh. Okay, so a majority of people think Brave Fencer should have won. Yeah. Fair. I mean, technically on paper, I think Brave Fencer is the better game. But Superman was, or Evil Dead was just more fun to me. So fun. This is fun to do, guys. Thank you for hanging out while I was doing it. I uh, don't really have any idea what we're going to do now. I'm going to go snerve. But, um...